All right, in this example, I want to show you how you combine the inverse of a matrix. Uh, and it actually can be done by taking your matrix that you want to invert and joining it with the identity matrix. Uh, in this case, for the 2 by 2 matrix, 1, 4, 3, 8, uh, I can find the inverse by looking at joining with the uh, identity matrix 1, 0, 0, 1. And then we perform row operations to try to reduce this matrix down to the identity matrix. So we would go in here first and do the row operation minus 3, row 1, plus row 2. Right, that would produce, of course, row 1 would stay the same, 1, 4, 1, 0, and then you have minus 3 plus 3 would be 0, minus 3 times 4 would be minus 12, plus 8 would be minus 4, minus 3 times, minus, times 1 would be minus 3, plus 0 would be minus 3, and minus 3 times 0 plus 1 would stay as 1. Okay. And then at this point, we want to now, we want this to be the identity. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and take row three, two and add it onto row one. That way the four in the second position there will cancel out. So I will have zero plus one is one, minus four plus four would be zero minus 3 plus 1, and I'll make this minus 2, and 1 plus 0 would make it 1. And row 2 is still the same. And so now we have uh, put this into its redu uh, even more reduced form. And finally, uh, we need to take care of this 4 in the last row. So we do one-fourth of row two, uh, giving us the matrix one, zero, zero, one. And then row one, we didn't need to change. It already had a one on the main spot there. And then minus three divided by, uh, hold on, that should have been a minus four. I lost my negative sign there. So I'm actually going to divide by negative one fourth. Uh, so minus three divided by negative four will be a positive three fourths. And then one divided by minus four will be a negative one fourth. And then it turns out when you do this, the matrix that has replaced the identity that you started with is now actually the inverse of your original matrix. And you can see that real quickly here. If we take our original matrix, 1, 4, 3, 8, and we multiply by our new matrix, minus 2, 1, 3 fourths, negative 1 fourth, then we can uh, find out very quickly that this will be the identity. Right? Taking rows of the first column, rows of the first matrix times the columns of the second matrix. We can quickly see here, one times minus two will be minus two, four and three fourths will be three, minus two plus three will be one. And then we go row one, column two, 1 times 1 is 1, 4 times a negative 1 fourth would be negative 1, 1 minus 1 would be 0. And then second row, first column, 3 minus 2 would be minus 6, 8 times 3 fourths will also be positive 6, and so of course they cancel out to be 0. And then last, 3 times 1 is 3, 8 and a negative fourth is 2, 3 minus 2 is 1 see that we do get the identity 
And you could also check it the other way as well uh, and find that, uh, yes, indeed, uh, this thing is the inverse of that matrix. So that's the process for finding an inverse uh, for anyone that's curious about how that's done.